The calendar is not kind to the European Central Bank, which seems likely to meet next week between a hard place and a rock. The Governing Council will deliberate days after Italy's vote on constitutional reforms, but a week before its US counterpart holds a meeting which could move the world's bond and currency markets. Temporal pressure of another kind is also building, because purchases of 80 billion euros a month under the existing program of quantitative easing only run until March. Extending the buying threatens to create a new problem, as there may not be enough German bunds available next year to keep spending between the Eurozone member countries in line with a carefully agreed formula. So Mario Draghi, head of the ECB, must somehow ensure stability following a referendum many expect the Italian government to lose. He also has to do so without unduly favouring the country's sovereign bonds. Also on the list, he must try to make it as easy and cheap as possible to borrow across a continental economy where inflation remains largely absent. Then he has to keep the banks healthy and profitable, so they lend to businesses and consumers, while at the same time placating those within his institution who fret about the extraordinary measures it has taken this year. Oh, and don't forget, the opinion of bond market investors and traders matters as well, and they were disappointed last year by the size of the stimulus at a time of year when many start to withdraw from markets. Oh, and then there's the effect the Federal Reserve may have later in December. A US interest rate rise is about as close to a sure thing as market prices get. But the message on how fast future increases will arrive and how high rates may go could have dramatic implications. If accelerating US inflation is in focus, meaning higher bond yields lie ahead, a stronger dollar will help European exporters, and dollar-euro parity might beckon. Yet if the market has got carried away by prospects for Donald Trump policies to spark inflation, the euro could sharply reverse course. So what can Mr Draghi do? An official forecast for headline inflation in 2019 to hit 2%, that might help to set expectations that prices will one day rise. Bond purchases could be extended but perhaps at the original pace of 60 billion euros a month, a taper presented as a tweak. It would at least buy him a precious commodity, more time.